Hey everyone, my name is Victor Dwyer, and today I'm going to show you how to connect all the data sources that we talked about in the previous videos all in one master dashboard. Yes, all in one dashboard. So this is not an easy task. It's going to take a lot of time, but we're going to get through it. So make sure you watch the videos before so that way you can see how those dashboards are created. And then this is how to combine all of them in one. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with one of the Amazon dashboards and going with that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a copy of this Amazon dashboard. You press copy report. And I'm going to call this master. I'm going to call this the master dashboard. These are the main KPIs I want from Amazon. I'm going to be able to differentiate between what colors are going to be Amazon related colors and everything else. So now I'm going to hop into another dashboard and bring this in. So these are the main KPIs that I need from Walmart. So I'm actually just going to highlight it and I'm going to press control C. I'm going to go over to the master dashboard and press control V. Okay, perfect. And then I am going to add text here. So I'm going to press insert text and I'm going to type in Walmart overview. Highlight that, make it white, make it bigger. Perfect. And now I'm going to add another rectangle. I'm just going to copy the previous one, control C, control V. Now I'm going to order, send it back, change the color to blue for Walmart. Perfect. So now I made the color, um, a different color in the background. Keep in mind, I am colorblind, so I have no idea how good or bad that looks. So I hope it looks great. Awesome. And now we're going to bring in WooCommerce data next into the dashboard. These are the top KPIs that I need to look at. So I'm going to press control C, go over to the master dashboard, press control V, press add report. I'm going to go ahead and scroll this down while it's inserting the data here. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna copy the dashboard, the I'm gonna copy the background and copy the text here and press control and then I'm gonna press control C, control V. Bring it over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on the rectangle. I'm gonna set press send the back. Perfect. And then I'm gonna rename this to WooCommerce. WooCommerce overview. WooCommerce is like more of a purplish color. So now we have the WooCommerce data in here. And then next we are going to import eBay data. It still hasn't populated, but that's just okay. And it's also an important thing to mention that it, uh, one of the reasons why it may not be working for you is that if you, you all data sources must have the same account level access. So if you're trying to work under different accounts, it will not work. So you make sure you have account level access for every single one of these data sources. So that way you can do, it. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't, but make sure each data source is, has under the same level of data there. Okay. So we're going to copy the background and get the text. Press control C, control V, move that down here. And then we're going to select the background order to back. I don't, eBay is kind of a multicolor type of thing. So I'm going to do like maybe just green and then I'm going to call this eBay. We'll do, we'll do Shopify as a different color. So let's make this, we'll make this, oh no, that's horrible. We'll make this red. Why not? Okay. And then lastly, we have Shopify. So we're going to grab this data here, press control C, control V. So you will eventually run into this error message right here. So that is an important thing to know when you're integrating a bunch of KPIs, especially if you're trying to do it all in one page. So make sure you're very selective on what KPIs you're bringing in. What is the most important? I'm going to remove eBay in this case, since it's not as important for me. And I'm going to integrate the Shopify data because that is very important to me when it comes to get, getting um, the Shopify stuff in here. 
Okay, now we're going to paste over the Shopify data over here. And I'm just going to use the the Amazon data over um, instead of the Shopify since there's a little bit of a issue there when copying over um, when it comes to access. But we're just going to pretend this is shop this Amazon data is Shopify um, just for the sake of it. And then from there, we're going to copy over this and then the title. And then we'll be good from there. And then we're going to put this in the background, order us in the back. And then we're going to call this Shopify. And then we're going to make that green for the Shopify. And then boom. So now we're now we have the Shopify, WooCommerce, Walmart, and Amazon data all in one dashboard. So that way you'll be able to see it from all from one place. All the different data sources so th and these kpis are completely changeable so you i selected ones that are most important to me as the marketer but you can change out by product by all the information from all these other dashboards and integrate it in one master dashboard from all different data sources all in one place so that way you don't have to constantly go through multiple different dashboards and you can incorporate this by different pages by different everything so that way you got you know or you now know how to incorporate different data sources all in one place and you can have an actual dashboard for your business hopefully this was super actionable for you and i hope you guys have a great day let me know if you have any questions thanks guys